Hi, my name is Prajwal Desai and in this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about update registration tool in SSEM that allows you to import an out of band update or a hotfix into the SSEM console and second about the hotfix itself. So first let me talk about the hotfix that we are going to install. Now recently Microsoft released a hotfix for SSEM version 1902. Uh, this hotfix fixes an issue where your core management dashboard does not display correctly. As per Microsoft, this issue occurs in environments using third-party mobile device management coexistence with SCM version 1902 and KB4500571 installed. If you notice similar lines in your smsproe.log file and if you also notice that your core management dashboard is not displaying correctly, then this update is for you. Now before you download this update, let me tell you that this update does not appear in the SSM console. This is an out of band update. So you have to manually download this hotfix first and then use the update registration tool to import the hotfix into the SSM console. Before you install this update, ensure that you are running SSM version 1902 and you have already applied KB4500571 update which was a previous update release for SSM 1902. After you apply this update, there's no restart required and this update does not replace any previously released updates. So first of all, let me download the hotfix. Alright, that's done. Now, let me talk about the SSM update registration tool. I published this post few days ago on my blog. Some of you might already know what this tool does and some of you might be new. Now let me first cover how do you install updates in your SSM. You open the console, you go to updates and servicing node. You check for the updates and when the update is ready to, ready to install, you install the update. Now these are called as in-console updates. Now there is, there is another kind of update called as out-of-band update which Microsoft releases for a specific version and to fix a specific issue. These are not available from the Microsoft Cloud service. So you have to first download the update from the link provided in the KB article and then use the update registration tool to actually import the update. But one question that several people asked me is when you have SCCM version 1906 released why install hotfix for SCCM 1902 some organizations still use 1902 and they may not want to upgrade to 1906 so soon they might they might want to test it further or they might want to wait for few more updates so it's up to them but if you are running 1902 and if you're not willing to upgrade to 1906 then you can install this hotfix provided you see that issue in your setup. Now about the SSCM update registration tool, yes this tool helps you to import the update or the hotfix into the configuration manager console. Cover about the tool prerequisites that you have to read before you use this tool. You must use this tool only to install the out of band updates and this tool should be run on the computer that hosts the service connection point. As a prerequisite .NET Framework 4.5.2 is required on the computer running service connection point and most of all the account that you are using is important here. The account should have the local administrator permissions on the computers that host the service connection point and it should have write permissions to the following folder which is configuration manager installation directory easy setup payload and offline. So we have downloaded the hotfix and let me show how to use the update registration tool. Run your command prompt as administrator. How do you identify the out of band update is with the extension. The out of band update always ends with dot update dot exe extension. So here's my update. So I'll copy this update and I'll save it to a folder here. I'll name it as hotfix. Save it. So I run this hotfix now. now. This is the configuration manager update registration window. It says run this tool on the service connection point to register the following update with the configuration manager. And this is our update. Click on next. The update has been registered. You can deploy this update after it becomes available in the update node of the console. Click on exit. Now you can wait for 24 hours for the update to appear or you can check for the updates and that should bring the update in the console. So open the DMP downloaded log file. All 
right I see an update getting downloaded notice that this update goes into the offline folder and not just under the easy setup payload folder as a cap file I see the update as ready to install state so let me install the update pack now here it says a new update pack is available and you still want to install the old one yes yes I'll ignore prerequisite check warnings next accept the license terms next All right so let's go to the monitoring node and updates and servicing status in just a few seconds you should see the status of the update and here it is show status application Alright, the KB451-6759 is installed successfully and this completes the video tutorial. I hope this video helps you. Thank you so much. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.